when there's spiritual healing, oftentimes, as Linda says, there's, there's X amount of physical healing, but also uh, it's, it's very, very true from a neuroscientific and, and medical that, that if you have two people with the same amount of stimulus to the pain receptors, and one is in a peaceful state of mind, and the other is in a stressed state of mind, um, th their experience of that input will be very, very different. Uh, you know, mine is a very, uh, you know, kind of uh, rudimentary thing that when I played football uh, in high school, if we lost the game, I felt every bruise in my body <laughs> immediately. I mean, it's silly, but it's true. And, and, and yet, if, if we won the game, I might have a cracked bone in my forearm and not notice it till tomorrow, the next morning. It's not, an, it's not a, um, what do I want to say, uh, coincidence that 80% of the people that have depression have back pain. Mm -hmm. And 80% of the people that have back pain have depression because mm -hmm. they feed on each other and there's this constant, the body can't heal when the, when the mu muscles are in constant tension. And if there's chronic mental stress, all kinds of things happen that Linda mentioned, but one of them is the muscles will tighten and it impedes the natural healing that God has given us to, to bring our body back to balance. That's fascinating. You're saying that, the, that chronic mental stress impedes the physical healing processes that the body is naturally inclined toward? Absolutely. Absolutely. There, there, I mean, across medicine, if you have, uh, you know, and even doctor, good doctors will tell you that, that if you have a, a bad infection and you are stressed, your response to the antibiotics is not going to be the same as somebody who's in peace. <laughs> you're going to have more, more difficulties. If you have surgery and you're in stress, you know, I, I, just a quick example, and I used to lecture to the cardiology fellows at, the, at West Virginia University, those that are studying to be cardiologists, and I, I would go over some of the research, and I said, you know, for instance, if a woman before her cabbage, before her coronary bypass surgery, and checks on the list that I am lonely, she has a 350% increased chance of dying in the next 30 days after that surgery. Wow. And, and of course, the response of the cardiologist with tongue in cheek was, boy, I'm going to tell my patients not to check that box. <laughs> 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 it has nothing to do with them checking the box. It has to do with the internal state of feeling that they were in and the ramifications that Linda you know, spoke eloquently about of how that manifests then in the body, which, which uh, gets in the way of the, inner, the divine energy that's, that is given to healing. That's why, that's why as, a, as one, somebody said yesterday to me, he said, I realized that that physical healing, if you break a leg, the doctor can put a splint on it and, and, and align the bones somewhat so they're pointed towards each other, but the doctor doesn't do the healing. <laughs> he just creates a milieu that allows that power of healing that's coming from that's the source of all, all life to do, to do what it does.